now I'm going to move on to priming the floor. And I have done some research because, okay, I'm using peel and stick vinyl, which some people would say is not a good idea in an RV because of the extreme hot and cold temperatures. And, you know, they'll end up sliding around or peeling up, um, which is very possible. But I've read several places that if you take the proper preparation that it reduces the chance of that happening so you're supposed to prime and I had a hard time finding like what what primer am I supposed to use so I picked up this from Lowe's and it is multi-purpose primer from tech skill set is the brand Um, and it says right on here that it's for peel and stick. It's also for other things too, but peel and stick tiles. Directions say for wood with a peel and stick application, you're supposed to measure one to one with water and then roll it on. So I got my, my paint tray here and my roller and I'm, have a cup, just a solo cup um, of water. I'm going to pour that in there and then I'm going to measure up to here with the primer, pour that in. Hopefully it fits in this pan. Maybe I should have checked that first. I'm sure it will. I'm, I'm sure it will. So, um, and that'll be my one-to-one -one, and then I can start rolling it on. I think it's going to be kind of milky consistency. Um, and then it dries clear and that's how you know that it is dry and ready for the next step um, when it goes clear. I'd say that's enough talking and let's get started. I'm also going to do the floor of the over cab because if I have enough tiles, which I'm pretty sure I will. That's how I'm going to finish the floor deck, whatever you want to call it, in the upper cap as well. Okay, so the floor is dry and now I am going to start laying some tiles. I'm trying to not walk around like as much as possible. It it left like a shiny finish, which actually you can see it pretty good from my angle right now. So you can see it's it's kind of shiny. And it does say on the bottle to like minimize traffic um, once it's on the floor. But I'm going to start in the bathroom and work my way out. It's it's like, I don't know, 6 p.m. now, so I probably won't get a lot done tonight, but I want to at least get started cuz it's going to take it's going to take a while. If it wasn't for all of the the cuts, it wouldn't be so bad, but yeah. Okay, slight change of plans. Um, I did cut the one that would go around the bathroom door, which was not easy. Um, but then I started thinking about like how they're going to lay out in the main part of the RV. And I think, I think that's where I'm going to start because I want them to be full pieces along the edge of the couch. I don't want any weird cuts if they're not straight. I don't want an angled seam right there. So that is where I'm going to start. The bathroom will be my least seen room anyway so if they're a little crooked back there I'm I can live with it so I get to start with full pieces now anyway <laughs> so it's now the next morning and I quit last night a little bit concerned I'm already not happy with the way they're sticking down um I don't have like one of them weighted roller things which would probably solve the problem but they just don't seem to be sticking as 
much as I want them to. So, I think, and I really don't want to, but I think I'm going to glue them. Uh, I bought this. I, originally, that was my plan. I'm going to glue them. And the ones that are already stuck on the floor, I'm going to peel up and glue them, which sounds ridiculous, I know. But I did a pretty good portion last night. Pretty much all of the tiles that didn't need cut. And it sucks to have to peel them up and start over. I'm going to try to reuse the tiles. There's a couple of them I know will peel right up, I can tell. And then I'll slap some glue and put the tile right back down. Uh, if the tile seems to be really good and stuck, I'll just leave it. Um, you know, once down the road, if that tile does end up coming loose at the corners, then I can pick, pick it up, glue it, and put it back down. I really don't want to do this. I have glued a floor before, and it's not fun. It's not fun at all. It's messy, and you end up with glue everywhere. Um, I do have some gloves, and I have a little trowel. Um, I guess it's a spatula, but it's got the, the teeth. And hopefully I can do this without getting glue all over the other tiles. I'm just going to go very, very lightly with it and hope for the best. So, and I don't know if the camera will... We'll pick it up or not, but this tile right here, this first one, this is the one giving me the problem. And yes, you can see that um, that white line there, that's the edge of the board. Like it won't, it won't stay down and it's not, you know, it's not overlapped. The next board, it's not overlapped at all. It just won't stay. It's like, I don't think the floor is very smooth and well I mean it's that particle board so it naturally has you know some lumps in it all right well I'm gonna get to work oh whew, that was almost a disaster I think that glue is a good choice. It might be overkill a little bit, but there's definitely air pockets. I just need to, I need to weigh it down somehow. And I, I don't know what to do. So I think I'm gonna just do a couple pieces find some heavy stuff, some books, I don't know, something to uh, spread out over the couple pieces that I just did and then move on to a couple more pieces and just do it in sections. I'm happy to report that the floor is finally done. It's not. It's not. 
<laughs> it's not quite done, but it the, the the majority of it is done, and I absolutely love it. I love the color. I think it looks great with the gray purple that I have in here. I love it. And no like major setbacks for this project. I think this is the first time that has happened. So the reason I say it's not 100% done yet is because I did not do the stairs yet, the entry stairs. And there's one little spot along the side of the couch. It's where the seatbelt is bolted to the floor and to do it correctly, I should unbolt the seatbelt, put the floor down, and then drill a hole through the floor, through, you know, the, the, the vinyl, and put the bolt back in, instead of cutting around it and looking all, you know, janky. So, um, and I can't do that by myself. I need somebody underneath holding the bottom of the bolt while I unscrew the nut. Also, um, I did not do anything on the over cab deck. I never know what to call that. A deck, floor, whatever it is. I didn't do anything up there either, which was my original plan um, to put this vinyl flooring up there as well. I think that would look nice. However, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you. So that there is the seat belt that I was just talking about. Um, I need to unbolt that, put the rest of the tile back there and then reinstall that. Um, also here with these steps. Now, I cut this new board, which lifts up and there has to be access to it. So I have to kind of think about how I'm going to put the flooring on here and what I'm going to do about the sides. So, I mean, I can put the tile on this board here, but it wouldn't be able to overlap that seam, which I think would look weird. I don't know. I did get the um, stair trim for like carpet and I guess for vinyl tile or whatever kind of flooring you have. The little metal L thing that, you know, you put on the, the corners of steps. Anyway, I don't know why my words aren't coming out right. Um, so I'll have to look at it because I forget kind of how wide it is, but I think I should be able to put the tile to here and then have that metal L thing going across here only attached to the top. So that way to get access inside here, you could just like lift up on that little L thing and it would bring up this whole piece of wood, I think. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I, I think I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that's that, hopefully, that problem. Okay, so as you can see, I did prime up here. That's why it's nice and shiny. Um, now, if I take my tiles and run them up here, I'm going to have some issues at these brackets because, as you can see here, the brackets are eighth inch damn near a quarter of an inch thick um so my vinyl is going to be humped up over those and it's going to be rippled and it's also going to make it very difficult for the tiles to stick down because they're going to be like holding it up so my solutions for this problem again taking the luan that i have left and making this entire thing, recovering it with the quarter inch plywood, which I really don't want to do. Plus, I don't think I have that much. I'll have to probably go get a full sheet in order to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to have a bunch of seams everywhere. Um, or, as my mom suggested, put carpet up here. I could just get, you know, an inexpensive area rug or carpet remnant and just carpet it because that would make those you know disguised and it would still look nice uh, my only worry about doing that would be 
any kind of moisture up here and that carpet is going to be nasty. It would also, using the carpet, would also make this transition um, a little bit easier because the carpet's going to hide the gaps and the weird seams and it's just going to go right up on there and be cut nicely along the top edge. So at this point, I'm, I'm calling the floor project done. That's why I'm calling it done, even though it's not completely done. The main area is done and these other things I can do as I go. I got some quarter round trim for around the base, you know, of the walls. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this floor project video. Um, the next project and probably the last project that absolutely has to be done before I can start staying in here is going to be the toilet and I might start that today so stay tuned for that video coming soon it should be a good one and yeah again thank you guys so much for watching I will see you very soon in my next video